right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to press a key and have a UI up here, right? That's pretty cool, Crazy Jim's Weapon Shop. I didn't put any weapons in it, I'm just showing you how to get the UI to appear and disappear by hitting a key. And we're gonna use the tween position. So let's go ahead and get a fresh world and show you how to do that. Let's see, I got one right here. There we go, a nice base plate. And I'm gonna go over to Starter GUI, hit the plus sign, Screen GUI, hit the plus sign, and just add a frame, right? So we got a frame right here. So I wanna center this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the properties down here on the frame, and for anchor point, I'm gonna make it 0.5 and 0.5. That puts my anchor point right in the middle of the frame. That's gonna make it easier to center. Because then when we go down to position, I'm gonna open position with this, hit that arrow. I'm gonna change the first value. So X has two values, it has a scale. I'm gonna make that 0.5. That's half of the x-axis, so right here. One is over here, zero is over there. So I'm gonna go to y, I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so I say 0.5, now we're centered. Now, y is opposite of what you might think. Zero is up here, and then one is down here. So if I make this zero, boom, it's halfway off, right? Because it's gonna anchor right there at the zero mark. If I want this to disappear, I could say negative 0.5. Ah, it's gone. Remember that, because that's what we're gonna do when we go to get rid of our UI. We're just gonna move it. We're just gonna move it way up on the top there, above the visible line. But right now, I'm just gonna make that 0.5 in the Y. We're gonna keep it in the center. Maybe this is something you wanna present your players when they enter the game, so we're gonna have the UI visible right off the bat. Let's go to the plus sign. Let's add a local script. I'm not even gonna change the name because I don't want this to be too long. And let's get a variable for user input service. That's how we capture our key events. So let's say game get service, and I'll go user input service. Then I get another variable, open key. And this is gonna be the key that opens and closes our, our UI. Uh, maybe I should call it UI key. Yeah, that's fine, open key is good. Let's say enum key code, and you can pick any key you want. You can pick a whole lot of stuff. You don't even need, uh, it doesn't have to be like an A or a B or anything. I'm gonna add a B, right? Just make it boring with a B. Let's say local frame. This is gonna be our UI component. And we have our script right on the frame. So script.parent gets us the frame. And then I'm gonna have a Boolean value to determine, to tell us, tell the script whether the frame is actually open or closed. We're gonna start out with the frame being open. So I'm gonna say is open is true. So local function on input, and we'll pass in our input value. So we're gonna set check to see if the input key code equals equals open key, then, well, we're either gonna uh, slide our UI into place or slide our UI out of place. So I'm gonna say if, is open, then we need to get rid of the UI. It's in our way. I'm gonna say frame, tween position. I'm gonna do this goal position, this U dim to new. This is going to be where we want the frame at the end of the tween position uh, animation. I'm gonna say 0.5 on the X, zero pixels on the X, and then I'm gonna make this uh, negative point, let's make a point three, and zero pixels on the Y. All right, that's pretty cool. And we can add other stuff. I'm gonna show you how to do the balance after this. Just to get this working, right? So else is open was false. That means we want to open it down here. So I'm gonna copy this, paste this here, and then I'm gonna make this 0.5 so now it's going to be right in the middle of the screen all right the only thing we have to make sure we do now well more than one thing but we're going to change is open to whatever it was not so i'm going to say not is open so if it was true now it's false at the end of this function well end of the if statement i get our user input service let's connect it Let's do an input began, connect on, I'm getting, I'm getting fatigued, on input. 
ah, get rid of those two extra parentheses. He likes to add those. Let's go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and try it, play. And now it's going to be a linear slide because we didn't any, add any options to our, our tween position. I hit my B, boom, disappears. Hit my B again, ah, reappears, nice. So already you're up and running. Let's add a little bit of, of style to this. So after your goal position, we can do our easing direction. So easing direction, if you want something fancy to happen, if you want it to happen at the end of the tween, do out. And that's what I'm going to do because I am going to bounce this. Whoops. Bounce this. All right. And then you can set the time. Let's say one second. And then this right here is whether you want to overwrite your tween. Like if a zombie's running for you and you're like, ah, forget it. I don't want to see my shop. You can go ahead and override that and it'll change direction. So down here we can do something similar. Since the tween is leaving, right? So we were, is open, it was false. This is going to be closed and we want it to come into place. Uh, you know what, let's switch that. Let's do this as an in and this as an out. And you can try and switch those and see what happens. Then you'll learn, right? It's kind of hard to learn just watching somebody code. You got to try it. Let's get rid of that extra parenthesis. All right, now we have a nice bounce. So this one will bounce in the beginning because we're closing it. This one will bounce at the end, the out, because we're opening it. We want it to bounce into place. Let's go ahead and do that. And let me hit my B. Boom, there we go. Hit the B again, and it bounced down. See, that's pretty good. I like that. If you were to switch that, let's say put an out here. This is when we're closing. You wouldn't really see the bounce. You might see it poke down here at the top, but yeah, you can kind of see a bounce. But you want the bounce to be in the beginning or maybe no bounce at all when you're closing it. But play around with those values, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that is tween position and the user input service to catch key events.